Welcome. This video will discuss some of the policies in the on-campus housing contract and student code that help make our community welcoming and safe. We have developed these policies with your success and the success of the community in mind. We expect that you have read the code and contract and you are responsible for knowing their contents. The topics that will be covered in this video are the quiet hours policy, some fire safety policies, our alcohol and cannabis policies, our university's definition of consent, our university's statement on respectful communication and bias, as well as mental health resources. Please review this video before your first community meeting and come prepared with any questions you may have. Residence hall quiet hours are from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Sunday through Thursday and 12 a.m. to 7 a.m. Friday and Saturday. Courtesy hours are in effect 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If your neighbor asks you to lower your volume, please respect their request. Also, remember that sound travels differently in a residence hall than what you might be used to at home, and neighbors around you may be impacted by your volume. Our fire safety policy is very detailed, and you should read it carefully to ensure you do your part in keeping our community safe. Some items that are prohibited in the residence halls include candles, even unlit ones, incense, hot plates, and other appliances with exposed heating elements. Electric scooters and skateboards are also prohibited. Some activities which do not violate policy may set off smoke detectors, so please be careful while microwaving popcorn, using self-heating instant meals, or straightening your hair. Fire health and safety inspections are conducted throughout the year. Your RA will let you know when an inspection is coming up. In the United States, it is illegal for persons under the age of 21 to possess or consume alcohol. If you or a friend have consumed alcohol and are dangerously intoxicated, please reach out for medical assistance by calling 911 or the RA on duty. Seeking medical assistance for overconsumption will not result in disciplinary action. The University of Connecticut abides by federal law because we receive federal funding. That means that regardless of state law, cannabis, including medical cannabis, is not permitted on campus. Please do not use or possess cannabis or cannabis paraphernalia in the residence halls. The University of Connecticut uses the following definition of consent for sexual activity. Consent is an understandable exchange of affirmative words or actions which indicate a willingness to participate in mutually agreed upon sexual activity. Consent must be informed, freely, and actively given. It is the responsibility of the initiator to obtain clear and affirmative responses at each stage of sexual involvement. Consent to one form of sexual activity does not imply consent to other forms of sexual activity. The lack of a negative response is not consent. An individual who is incapacitated by alcohol and or other drugs, both voluntarily or involuntarily consumed, may not give consent. Past consent of sexual activity does not imply ongoing future consent. Consent cannot be given if any of the following are present, force, coercion, or incapacitation. If you are subject to unwanted sexual contact or activity, you may report it to any university employee. Please visit title9.ucon.edu slash get dash help to view more information on reporting options. Over the course of your career at UConn, you will be meeting persons from different backgrounds and identities. While we intend to foster robust expression of varied opinions, those opinions must be expressed in an environment of mutual respect. If you are subject to or witness a bias-related incident, which is an incident that targets a marginalized identity or group, please contact an RA, hall director, or UCPD. You can also use the reporting form at inform.ucon.edu. During your time at UConn, you may experience anxiety, depression, or other mental health concerns. Many students are impacted by those conditions. You are not alone. If you need or want mental health support, Shaw Mental Health is available to provide that support. To make an appointment with Shaw Mental Health, call 860-486-4705 or schedule an appointment at studenthealth.uconn.edu slash mental health. 
to access 24-7, 365 mental health services, Be Well at UConn offers free and confidential support over the phone. Call 833-308-3040. If you are experiencing a serious and life-threatening crisis, call 911 or the UConn Police Department. If you become concerned about another student, you can also reach out to the RA on duty. As Huskies, supporting one another is what we do. Remember that you are responsible for knowing the contents of the on-campus housing contract and the student code, so please take some time to read them. You can bring any questions you have about these policies to your RA. Thank you for taking the time to review this video, and we wish you a happy, safe, and successful semester ahead.